Hey guys, Technoventure with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 7 Plus that I bought off Mercari. It was only $128, but this phone is pretty exciting because I was just able to find this deal and I bought it right away when the seller posted. So if you guys don't know what Mercari is, it's an app that lets anyone buy and sell anything basically out there. So you can pretty much find really good deals because sometimes sellers don't know the value of their phone so they were selling it for really cheap and if you guys are looking to join the app you can simply join the app today by entering um our our special promo code that we have in the description section and you'll get 30 dollars or so to spend on your first purchase so make sure to go ahead and use that and so as you can see this one came in this Amazon box because these are sellers reusing the box and that doesn't really matter because we want to just get the phone and make sure everything works on the phone and if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure to hit the subscribe button so let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing video so the first thing I'm going to do is take this scissor that I have I'm going to go ahead and start with Boxing here. There's a little bit of struggle trying to open this up, but that's because they put a lot of tape. It's completely fine. And if we see in here, turn the box open and in the box, so put that side down here. And then in the box, so you see a bunch of bubble wraps here. Let's just a camera here for you guys and let's see what we have so here it looks like in the, under all of this bubble wrapping we have a cardboard box so we'll put that aside and go ahead and start looking at to see what we have in here so here it looks like inside is more bubble wrap and just the phone no charger or headphones or the original box that's included so we here if we take a look like we just got the phone here and they included a case here and we'll put the case aside and take a look at the phone on the back as you can see the back looks clean a little bit of like mark over here but really can't see the camera is clean a little and then on the top part you notice there's a little bit of scraping right at this corner and then a mark over here and then a little mark here other than that, the side looks fine here. There's a little bit of missing white thing up here. And then this bottom side looks good. And this side looks good. So that that's the external condition. And then the front side, there's no cracks or deep scratch that you can see. So that looks good. So we're going to go ahead and power it on. So I give it about, I would say like a 7 out of 10 on the external condition. So we're powering it on. It looks like it, it it does power on. Sometimes when you buy it, it might not power on because it's been through uh, you know shipping because it takes a couple of days and or the phone hasn't been charged. You, in those cases, you're gonna have to go ahead and charge the phone. So we're gonna go ahead and gonna set this phone up. I like that they included a case, but really didn't include the charge or anything like that. So on this app, whenever you guys join. You'll see on the listing, people will list what they include. This person said they're just gonna include the case and that's why we only got the case and we're gonna have to get our own charger. Some of them include a lot of other things, but you're gonna have to go and read the description. Also, later, in the vi later on in the video, we're gonna share a couple tips and tricks whenever you guys are buying on this app so you don't get scammed. So I'm putting in the Wi-Fi password because we need to connect to the internet to go ahead and set up the phone. As you know, with any iPhones, either you're gonna have to connect through 
the Wi-Fi or through your SIM card data or connected to iTunes so that it can validate the phone is good with the Apple server. So this is what it's doing right now. So we're gonna have to give it a moment or two. Once it does that, we'll kinda go ahead through the next step. So a couple of things to note when you guys are buying on this app is when, when you click on a listing, always check out the seller's profile, which is listed all the way at the bottom. It'll list who the seller is and always buy from a seller that has at least 10 or more ratings. I don't buy anything lower than that because those people, you know, you don't know like if they're trying to scam you or not. And like with any other app, you know, you can get easily scammed. And the next thing is always stay within the app. If someone's telling you to text them outside the app or make a payment outside the app, don't do that, guys. That's the way you would get scammed. To stay protected, do everything through Mercari so they can kind of see everything there. You're going to need a payment option like PayPal or credit card or even a debit card will work. That's the way to sign up. You'll need that to purchase anything. And on the app, you can also sell anything you have. So if you have a used electronic that you want to sell, people sell that. Use clothing, jewelries, auto parts, anything you name it, you can pretty much sell on this app. So as you can see right now, I'm going through the setup process because the previous owner factory reset it. There's no iCloud account lock on it. That's the other thing with iPhones is that make sure that there's no iCloud account. You'll see on this app, a lot of people sell iCloud lock phones, which they'll have it for really cheap, but iCloud lock means someone's account is signed into it and you're pretty much the phone is useless because you can't get into the phone. So don't buy those phones. Stay away from those phones. And as you can see, we are able to go through most of this setup process and we got to the welcome to iPhone screen and apps are still loading here. And then what I like to do is kind of start testing the phone because with this app, once you buy a phone, you only have three days to test out the phone to make sure everything looks good and you have to rate the seller. I give it, give them a one to five star five being that everything looks good and of course the other stuff or something's bad and if something's bad you can always contact the seller to kind of figure out what you want to do if you want to return it or something like that and mercari can step in and help as well but for the most part it's been positive experience so far on the app that i bought phones from and if you guys want to look at other uh, unboxing review from some other phones that i bought make sure to check out that on our channel so here, a um, couple things you want to test is the buttons to make sure the buttons are working. So as you saw, I checked out the volume up, volume down, silent button, power button, and then the home button. They all work. And then check out the camera here. The back camera works. And then the front camera works. And the next thing you want to do is pop your SIM card in. And the SIM card, you want to make sure the phone is compatible. So this is on lock phone, so it'll take most GSM carrier. But if you bought a phone that's specific for your carrier, of course, you gotta put your SIM card in, make sure you get service, and make a test call to make sure the voice and the speakers are working. Also, if you guys don't have a SIM or you wanna make the testing, and, you know, make sure the phone is fully functional, there's an app called Test M and a couple other apps out there probably as well, where it takes you through the testing of a phone. We recently did a video on that using Test M to check a phone's functionality that's used, of course. Make sure you guys look for that video in our channel as well. And I can leave a link in the either description or the comment section if you guys are interested in checking out that video. So there you guys have it for the video here. It's a pretty good phone. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Pretty much a steal for $128 iPhone 7 Plus. As you saw, this is a pretty good phone, I would say. Um, so hopefully, again, this video is helpful for you guys. If this video is helpful, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And thanks for watching, guys.